it doesn't surprise me with all the chaos going on in Stockton and in this area. I wouldn't be surprised to see another one. At least two arrows have now been found in East Stockton, one of them striking a vehicle in the street as the driver was waiting for the traffic light to change. A scary moment now causing concern for several people who live and work nearby. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Stockton to show us the damage. The incident happened not too far from an auto repair shop where today employees were surprised when they found an arrow right in front of their business. When Allison Panetta saw this picture posted on social media, she really didn't think nothing of it until. I was pulling into work today and I'm like opening up and everything and I'm, I like glance over and I'm like, uh, that's interesting. She found an arrow by her family's auto repair shop. It's similar to the arrow the California Highway Patrol says damaged a woman's car while she was at a stoplight. How scary is this? Um, I mean, if it's happening often, well, then, yeah, you know, because especially in an area like this, we have a restaurant right there, and, you know, we have quite a lot of people running through. No one knows where the arrows came from. The CHP is continuing to investigate. People who live and work nearby say they don't want another arrow to land and damage more property or worse, cause injury. I think it's pretty reckless. Um, if you ask me, it's probably some kids having fun. Maybe they're intoxicated. Maybe they're not. You know, it's, a, it's definitely a, a danger to our to our businesses here and, and, and all of our rentals. Archery experts in Stockton say the standard size of an arrow is 32 inches. Depending on the arrow, one can travel 500 yards using a crossbow. The arrows used for hunting travel only 80 yards. An arrow like that carries weight coming down. It definitely has some penetration force. I'd definitely be concerned. Um, I mean, is there going to be another one coming tomorrow or, or the next day? Or I mean, do we have to uh, wear hard hats around here? Owners of the property are alerting businesses of the danger, but they do hope whoever is shooting the arrows will stop. Be frightening, Carlos. Thanks.